Let's make my parlor elegance quilt pattern that uses only a layer cake. With each 42 count layer cake 10 inch squares, you will sub cut them into two two and a half inch by 10 inch rectangles and one four and a half inch by 10 inch rectangles. Once everything is cut, you're going to mix your prints around and first sew the two two and a half inch by 10 inch rectangles together followed by the four and a half inch by 10 inch rectangle. Now, if you have been following me, this pattern will start to look like my Victorian alleyway pattern, but we are going to do one more step. And that is after your blocks are sewn together, you will cut each block in half, forming two five inch by eight and a half inch rectangles. Then once you have cut your blocks in half one last time, You'll take two different prints and flip one of them 180 degrees and then sew the two pieces together to form your final block. Your final block will measure 8.5 inch by 9.5 inch rectangle. You'll just repeat these steps until you have made a total of 42 quilt blocks. Then once all of your blocks are done, you will lay each block side by side in a seven by six layout. Then as always, you'll sew your blocks together to form rows. And then lastly, sew your rows together to complete your quilt top. And here is what my parlor elegance quilt pattern looks like all finished. For the backing, I am using a Moda dot grunge that is pretty close to this collection since I didn't have a matching print. And this collection is also extremely old, but then as for the thread choice, I am going with Stone by Glide Thread. And here is what my quilt looks like all quilted. One 42 count layer cake will yield you a 56 inch by 54 inch throw size quilt that you'll be able to whip up within a day. And if you want a bigger quilt, you can then use two layer cakes and form a 8x9 block layout, which will yield you a twin size quilt measuring 64 inches by 81 inches, just to give you a few more options. But I do hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.